In seismic areas, the low unit weight with the highest strength ratio is an effective part to make AC such a great structure material for those areas. AAC is molten mildew resistance. I think everyone has seen this kind of picture. A concrete building with one wall of drywall, full of mold and mildew. This will never happen with AAC, because AAC is a mineral-based, non-organic building material. For example, the gypsum in the drywall is non-organic too. However, the paper on the drywall is organic and creates a mold and mildew. So, moisture in the room, which normally occurs, cannot escape in concrete buildings. And as soon as the temperature is cooled down to the dew point, either naturally or with an HVAC unit, the moisture molecules become no water pellets and start feeding organic items, like the paper on the drywall. AAC is a non-organic mineral-based material. AAC does not promote the growth of mold and mildew. AAC is a vapor permeable system, so any moisture in the room can travel safely throughout the wall and escape, while the water molecules, which are far larger, cannot travel throughout the material. By the way, the correct moisture content in the room should be between 40 and 60 percent, which AAC can easily assure. This improves the indoor air quality. Even driving rains and water will not penetrate. As you can see, AAC even floats. So if you ship AAC to an island, don't worry, your material will arrive. AAC is pest resistant. AAC is impervious to attack by insects, rodents and termites. Termites and ants do not eat or nest in AAC. Solid wall construction and finishes bond to the wall, leaving no cavities for insects, termites or rodents to dwell in. So the result is, reduces the need for pest control, offers maximum protection against damage from pests. This is especially important in warm and moist areas. Termites can even penetrate concrete when they know that wood is behind. However, AAC with its large contents of quartzite cannot be penetrated by termites. Their glances cannot digest the quartzite particles. AAC is environmentally responsible. AAC is a 100% green building material. There are no pollutants and no toxic byproducts in the manufacturing or construction process. AAC is also sustainable. It is a long-lasting material which requires minimal maintenance. It is manufactured with abundant and or recycled raw materials and it produces no waste products. AAC is environmentally responsible. AAC qualifies for numerous lead points, which I can explain in a couple of seconds. AAC is also manufactured with abundant and or with recycled raw material. AAC is manufactured by using the least amount of energy. As you can see on the left graph, AAC is using only 280 kilowatt hours to produce one cubic meter of AAC, while you need 900 kilowatt hours to produce the same volume of brick. Now look at the right graph. Because AAC consists of 80% air, therefore the finished product has up to five times of the volume of the raw material. Basically you need only one cubic meter of raw material to produce five cubic meter of AC while for concrete you need one cubic meter of raw material to produce one cubic meter of concrete. Let me show you how AC can contribute to your lead credits. First criteria would be energy and atmosphere. When choosing the right window and door package and using an AAC shell, which includes floor and roof panels, you can achieve up to 13 points at this criteria. Next criteria is material and resources the great value of AC, which is possibility of being recycled, having the project close to an AC plant and maintaining parts of an existing structure can contribute up to eight points at this criteria. So the next criteria would be indoor environmental quality. Our unique airtight properties of AC and our high thermal properties can help you to achieve four points for this criteria. The next and the last one is innovation and design process. By being absolute termite resistant, another point can be received. So overall, AAC can contribute to 1. 
prerequisite and 23 lead credits towards green building certification. If platinum level is achieved, all fees associated with lead credits are refunded by the USGBC and approximately $20,000 credit back to the building owner from the USGBC. Let me summarize all of our AAC benefits. Fire resistance. It withstands up to 12 hours at 2190 degree Fahrenheit. Lightweight. AAC is five times lighter than concrete. Energy efficient. AAC has the highest thermal rating in the industry for its mass, up to R30. Absorb sound. Virtually soundproof interior rooms and to the outside. Weather resistant. AAC withstands the wind load of category 5 tropical storms. Mold and moisture resistant. Driving rains and water will not penetrate and AAC does not promote mold and mildew. Pest resistant. Termites and other insects cannot penetrate AAC. Environmentally responsible. AAC is a true 100% green building material. Cost saving. Higher quality and lower overall cost. So how does our structure system work? We can use standard blocks in sizes of 24 inch long and 8 inch high and thicknesses in 2 inch increments. So 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch and 12 inch thick. Or we can use jumbo blocks which are 2 feet long and 2 feet high and have the same available thicknesses. Or we use load bearing panels with a maximum height of 20 feet and a standard maximum width of 2 feet which have the same available thicknesses like our blocks. So let's see here how load bearing panels were installed already in 1923. MHE installed 63 years later their first reinforced panels in Germany. The key for using panels is a reinforcement cage bars between 5 to 8 mm running in both directions to reinforce the elements. We call those units reinforced elements. AAC panels as cladding for concrete, steel or wood structures. AAC panels with its maximum length of 20 feet can be used in a horizontal application for cladding of post beam structures. If the baseband exceeds 20 feet we use the panels in a vertical direction so that we can span from elevation to elevation beam. AAC panels can also be used for elevated foundation slabs and for intermediate floor slabs on multi-story buildings for commercial or residential projects. AC panels can be used for AC roofs for all shapes. The advantage is having a full fire rated envelope and having a roof which performs thermal and cold areas as well as in hot areas. It is very easy to route for utilities or for architectural details, any lines or any shapes. It is easier to handle than wood. Routing made easy. AAC exterior finishes is also available from MHE. In all colors special produced for AC walls and ceilings with a wide variation in textures. Interior finishes is also available from MHE. Also here available in all colors and in all styles. From smooth finish to orange peel. For special projects we can already produce panels with a design routed into it which will reduce the on-site labor. Those panels find its use especially for commercial or sound barrier wall projects. Let me show you some of MHE projects. Let's look at some hotels and motels built with AAC. AAC is one of the best shaft walls materials available. It's great fire rating, mold and mildew resistant and its capability to release moisture made it one of the most desirable materials to build shaft walls and demising walls in high rises. This hotel was built in 45 days for Steinmetz construction in Lady Lakes, Florida. MHE with its own general contracting division built this hotel in Ocala, Florida in 2004 as a turnkey project. 
MHE was also the construction manager and finished this project in